Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionitis, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our biochemistry playlist. In previous videos, we talked about Michaelis Menten enzyme kinetics. We talked about the Lynn Weaver Burke. We talked about competitive inhibitors, non competitive inhibitors, mixed inhibitors, and even uncompetitive inhibitors. Today, we'll talk about cooperativity of the hemoglobin and of some enzymes. Please recall that with most enzymes, they look like this, like a hyperbola on the michaelis menten plot. On the horizontal axis, we had the substrate concentration. On the vertical axis, we had the reaction velocity. However, other proteins have a sinusoidal or S-shaped plot. Please watch the videos in this playlist in order. Let's first talk about hemoglobin. Here's the left ventricle of your heart. It pumps oxygenated blood through the aorta. This oxygen, which is carried on the hemoglobin in the red blood cell, will go to the cells of your body to oxygenate them and help them with their internal respiration. Each cell will take in oxygen and release carbon dioxide, which will go to the venous system and then the right ventricle will push this deoxygenated blood to the lung so that gas exchange can push carbon dioxide out through exhalation and push oxygen in through inhalation. <gasps> Beautiful. This lovely oxygenated blood will come back to the left side of the heart and you continue the cycle. This is what's happening in the alveolus of my lung. Oxygen is being inhaled and carbon dioxide is exhaled. This oxygen first is going to enter the blood and then will jump on the hemoglobin as carbon dioxide is being kicked off of the hemoglobin. You breathe air in. Here is your oxygen in your lung. And then oxygen is going to go to the arterial blood and then will jump on the hemoglobin and then will go to the tissue. Let's call them names in a good way. Oxygen in the atmosphere is called FiO2. In your lungs or alveoli is called P big AO2, A for alveolus. And then it will jump to the arterial blood. It is dissolved and free in the blood. It's called P small AO2, small A for artery. Then it will jump onto the hemoglobin and now it's called SAO2, saturation of hemoglobin with oxygen in the arterial blood. Hemoglobin. Why does it end in IN? Because it's a protein. Hemoglobin. It has heme and globin. Heme is the non protein portion made of iron and protoporphyrin, and globin is the globular, big and spherical protein. So your hemoglobin is made of four subunits, i.e., four car seats. Each subunit is made of heme and globin. Who's gonna sit in that seat? Oxygen molecules. So in other words, each hemoglobin particle is gonna bind for oxygen molecules. This hemoglobin shows cooperativity. What does that mean? Binding of the first oxygen molecule to the hemoglobin seat makes it easier for the next molecule to bind. And binding of the second makes it easier on the third, which makes it easier on the fourth. Cooperativity. That's why in the beginning we're going up like this. However, after four molecules, we have reached the maximum. So we will reach the ceiling like this. And this is the maximum. We will level off. What's that? This is a sigmoid shape or S shape. How did binding of one oxygen molecule make it easier on the next one? Because binding of an oxygen molecule converts hemoglobin from the tense state with low affinity to oxygen into the relaxed state with high affinity to oxygen. The opposite is also true, which means as the first oxygen leaves, it makes it easier for the next one to leave because now we're going from the R state to the T state, which is the opposite. Association is the opposite of dissociation between oxygen and hemoglobin. Next, there is something to measure cooperativity known as the Hill's coefficient. If it's exactly one, there is no cooperativity. If it's greater than one, there is positive cooperativity, just like hemoglobin. If it's less than one, there is negative cooperativity. What does positive cooperativity mean? It means that binding of the first one will increase the affinity to the subsequent ones. What does negative cooperativity mean? It means that binding of the first one will lower the affinity 
for the subsequent ones. Is hemoglobin the only protein that has cooperativity? No. Some enzymes have cooperativity, such as PFK1, phosphofructokinase 1, which you will study in glycolysis. We'll talk about that in a subsequent video. Here is the S-shaped curve for hemoglobin, it's sigmoid. If you want to learn more about this, I have a video called the oxygen dissociation curve on my channel. Because this curve is beautiful, you can shift it to the right, shift it to the left, etc. And in your body, under certain circumstances, you can have a right shift and the left shift together simultaneously in the same human being. Some math review, what do we call that? Linear. What's that? Hyperbola. Like most enzymes, using the michaelis menten plot. What's that? Sigmoidal or S-shape. Like hemoglobin, like PFK1 on the michaelis menten graph. And if you are a math nerd, what is sinusoidal? Sinusoidal is like the sine wave. Up and down, up and down, up and down. So sigmoidal is not the same as sinusoidal. And hyperbola is not the same as parabola. Look at that. Oh, these looks like pockets. Here is a pocket, here is a pocket, here is a pocket. That's why it's called sinusoidal. That's why near your nose you have paranasal sinuses. These are pockets of air in your skull to decrease the weight of your skull and to give you some lovely resonance of voice so that you can sing. Something that you cannot do properly when you have stuffy nose and sinusitis. That's why we call them paranasal sinuses, because they are pockets. Moreover, sigmoidal is just dear to my heart. Do you remember the sigmoid colon? Why do we call it sigmoid colon? Because it has this weird S shape. See, medicine makes so much sense once you understand what the flip you're talking about. If you like this video, you will enjoy my renal physiology course. If you want some math, check out my general pharmacology course. All my premium courses are available at medicosisperfectionalis.com. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses.